Hello everybody and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games and today we are going to be with a few of our friends here. Um, just for the first minute I'm going to show you guys this, uh, uh, one of the people's channels and you guys can go support him if you guys feel like. Um, and personally I do recommend him. He's a pretty cool, pretty cool dude and I promise I would shout out his channel and all that. But you guys can go support um, Joey the X Mad. Um, he is a uh, streamer and he does a little bit of YouTube as well and uh, he's pretty dedicated like I am. And I'm just getting back to the community and you guys can go feel free to check him out. Um, we got a very good match in this uh, with him, along with my clan mate, and feel free to go check out Joey. Um, he's a really cool dude. Um, you guys can see his gamer tag there. I believe his Twitch is the same gamer tag, uh, same as his gamer tag on Xbox. So feel free to go check him out. Give him a follow. Give him all that stuff personally. Do it for me, guys. Do it for me. Show the love. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys over um, to the video now. Peace out. All right, so here we are. We're going to be with Reaper77, which is one of my clan mates. I have I have a few currently, and we're going to be in the uh, Nelson, and he is going to be in the, the Synop, I believe, and we are going to get stuff done. Enjoy the gameplay, guys. All right, so here we are. We are on Fault Line. Now, let me just say that this map is pretty tricky to play for some people, for most people, especially if you're just starting out the game. There's my friend there. Um... In the setup, he is my clan mate, as you guys know, and this is who I usually play with off uh, off stream, and who I get along with very well, and we have a lot of fun together, along with some other people, like Thor's Justice, for example. Um, with him, it's just a complete clan, and we we do dominate. They're not just funny; we they're also very they're very good at the game, and I do um, I do really enjoy playing with these guys. And um, yeah, so we're gonna push uh, we're gonna push uh, on the right side of the map, and there's gonna be let me just say there's gonna be four battleships. That are going to spawn across from us. And we are going to absolutely dominate this side of the map. But unfortunately, like I said, there's always one side that collapses. And eventually it does catch up to bite us in, in the rear, dude. But we are pushing up and we're going to get something spotted. Now, notice on the map that one of the battleships, the Roma, is uh, just running away. Don't know why he is. So I, t I ping him to come back. And I think he eventually does. And he does help me. But uh, yeah. Um, he's just running away, and it just goes to show. Sometimes the teams just do not know how to play this map, and you gotta you gotta have you know a balanced amount of teams on each side, and you gotta be willing to support each side if you have to. Sorry, I got I just woke up, guys. When I woke up, when I wake up for the first time, I, I freaking I feel a little bit you know my sinuses go a little crazy, but it'll it'll figure itself out. So if you guys hear me sniffle or anything, don't mind that. I'm not sick, so we take some shots, everybody. We're already up to eight thousand damage. We set about two fires. And now we're starting to set fires, uh, set fires and burn people, and that's what we're trying to do with the Nelson. We really don't even use AP because everybody's going bow on, everybody's angling. I don't see a point of using AP. Now there were some points probably in this gameplay where I should have used AP. Some of you guys might criticize me, but keep in mind I just he spamming, dude. It's that's what this Nelson's all about, and and that's what I do about seventy percent of the time in it. So, yeah, it's it's definitely um, it's definitely really fun indeed. Um, and it, it can be really fun. This is why the Nelson's my favorite ship. It can do everything. It could use AP. It could use HE. It could do all that stuff. Man, remember, if you guys see me and Reaper out there in the waves, don't be afraid to shoot us, okay? Because if you don't shoot us, we'll shoot you. So, yeah, um, just keep an eye out for us on the seas, okay? But, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're getting stuff done over here. And, um, notice that this freaking Iowa dude, he's gonna be knocking our gun out a lot. He probably already did knock out our gun. And he's been blowing and knocking up our guns like it's nobody's business. He is still mad about what happened to his turrets while in port in the 80s, dude. A lot of people died that day, if you guys didn't know. You guys should look it up. It was it was a really bad day for the Iowa when it was out of commission. But um, if you guys didn't know, one of the Iowa's turrets completely blew up with a bunch of people inside. And, uh, yeah, there he goes again. Knocks out my... It might not have been the Iowa, but uh, it was definitely one of the ships over there. And um, that we just get our turrets knocked out constantly. This whole match, and it's, it's just very, very annoying, and there's nothing I can do about it. Now, notice we're up to 19,000 damage, and this damage, we're going to get a whole lot of damage, just like the Massachusetts video I got, I had for you guys yesterday, and I hope you guys did enjoy That was my little Easter gift to you guys, a whole bunch of damage, and that was hopefully entertaining enough for you guys to watch. Um... So we're taking shots at the Iowa, and we're still damaging him, and we're doing all the stuff to him. And notice how much health he has lost this whole time. People have been focusing him down because he decided to push too far. And in Iowa, you don't want to push too far. You do not want to be the center of attention because Iowas cannot take all this HE damage. They just can't. They're not made for it. Now, notice that my back, my very back turret is completely blown up. 
one of the ships completely destroyed it. Now, at least it's not my front turrets. There goes my front turret again. The turrets keep getting knocked out. And I was telling my friend, you need to rewatch the video and see how many times my turrets get knocked out this match. It's absolutely bonkers how many times my turrets get knocked out. But we'll make it work like we always do here and then also we don't give up. And there goes the the Iowa. And now the Vlad of Allstock is next. He is my next target that I'm going to be focusing on. Notice that Reaper, I didn't tell him to do this, but he was like, screw it. I'm going to rush these guys. And this actually manages to work in our favor because he is distracting the enemy. And he doesn't just rush, you know, like, like, you know, like most people do and die. He does die, but he does manage to take one person down with him and do a whole lot of damage to other people, which ultimately clears this side. Unfortunately, however, on the other side of the map, our team fumbles and falls. That's why this map is so tricky to play because you've got to hold two sides of the map usually. And unfortunately, um, which is why we're ultimately, ultimately going to lose this match. But it's very entertaining and it, show, it just goes to show that even some of you know the most skillful players like me and my clanmates, we cannot do everything for our team. It, it's just how it is. If, if there's you know a whole bunch of destroyers, we can't do anything really to counter. If they know how to stay, you know hidden and use their concealment to their advantage we can't do nothing really about that that's they're doing we have to have some kind of cruiser support some kind of destroyer out in front spotting or even radar which is the best you, you need those kind of people and unfortunately they were all dead at the end of the game it's just four battleships at the end against three destroyers and two battleships but yeah you guys are gonna see the very end of this video <clears throat> i hope you guys will enjoy it but uh notice that we're firing still at the vladivostok he's burning and he will not stop burning until he's dead and um, we're angling very, very decently here. Not probably the best, but we are angling uh, at the end of the day, hopefully to bounce some shells that they fire at us. And they, he's just not firing at me. He doesn't even care at this point, um, which is fine with fine with me. I don't care. I'll farm you, and I'll keep damaging you, set fires on you. If you don't look at me, that's just that's just even better. But yeah, we're at fifty thousand damage, and now we're at fifty-two thousand damage. That's going to keep going up because the Vlad of Allstock, if you guys remember, he was just on fire about thirty seconds ago, and he put it out. So now he's going to, that's probably going to be a permafire and he's going to be staying on fire for the rest of the match or not rest of the match, but for the rest of his damage con, um, until his damage con comes back. Um, now one thing with the Nelson is it's bow armor and it's stern armor. It does not have any armor really anywhere. You got to angle your side. People, a lot of people don't know how to angle the Nelson and, um, it's definitely tricky, but how I'm angled right now, that's perfect. If See, the Amagi's going to be hopefully wanting to shoot my broadside and think he's going to be able to pen me, but he won't be able to. All the armor is on the side, just like a lot of these German battleships. All the armor is on the broadside. So if you angle that broadside perfectly, you will bounce everything. Even Yamato shells that get fired at you, you will bounce everything. Um, so it, it's definitely... Um, I don't Okay, don't have a word for that, by the way. Yamato shells, I'm not sure about, but definitely you can bounce everything. Now look, at we're at 69,000 damage, and look at that dispersion. We hit him again and set another fire. See, this is what the Nelson is all about, dude. And we're already at 74k damage, and we're going to keep climbing. Notice we look like we are actually have pretty much an advantage here when I mean, we do. But our team, look at the, look at down south. They have completely collapsed almost. Pretty much, yeah. They have completely collapsed. And the enemy is going to be able to push our base, ultimately. And this is why we're going to lose. I, I don't think we were realizing, realizing it. We were in the heat of battle. We weren't really looking at the last second. Now... Even if we did look, there wasn't much we could do anyway. Um, we couldn't get back there and do much. and like We really couldn't. Um, it's just how it was. Now, if you notice Reaper's health there, he is trying his best, and he couldn't do everything for the team. He did manage to take down one of the Amagis and damage the heck out of the Vladivostok. And he was trying to ram him, but unfortunately it failed. But as long as he could distract him and take the fire for the team, just so we could get some shots in. Um, so, you know, he was tempted to shoot him instead of us. That's a sacrifice worth taking. And as long as you take somebody down with you, it's fine to me. Um, sometimes it might not be the best play, but in that case, it was fine. So um, notice we're slightly pushing up, and we are trying to get some more shots in and re waiting for our guns to reload. And um, yeah, this Vladivostok is not long for this world. He has lost all of his health at this point, and all we got to do is kill him here. So um, if you guys notice, the enemy is now doing a hard push on our base. And some of our teammates are going to defend it. We still have a Massachusetts with us and the Roma. And a few other ships are going back to the base to defend it from the onslaught of enemies that are proceeding to take our base. And uh, that's the unfortunate part here. 
And there's, there's not going to be much we can do. Now, we do eventually kill the Vladivostok. We do turn around. But when we get there, it's just it's it's a huge battle. It's a huge stalemate. Not really. But, yeah, we're at 96,000 damage. The Vladivostok is almost dead. All we need is one good more hit, and he's a goner. He'll be back to port. Now, like I said, look at See? I bounce all those shells. Even on, like, it, it looks like those will pen, right? That one did. But it looks like those could pen, and they really didn't. Um, he aimed at my belt armor, which ultimately made him bounce. If he aimed a little higher, maybe. Um, it aimed at my nose, yes. No matter how much I angle my nose, it'll always get pinned. So that's one problem with the, the bow and stern armor of the Nelson. And you got to learn how to angle it. Um, but yeah, notice that we're turning around back to our to our team. We managed to win our side. We hold off the enemy. We killed an Iowa, an Amagi, and a, uh, and a Vladivostok. And I didn't kill the Amagi. Um, Reaper did, like I said. But uh, yeah, he he absolutely demolished the Amagi. By the way, if you guys didn't know, he he double triple citadeled him, and it was insane. So good for him. He didn't dev strike him, but he got citadels every time he shot at him. So, but um, yeah, we're turning around to defend the base, and if he, if you guys notice, the cap is contested, which means there's a destroyer in there, maybe one or more destroyers. Look how many destroyers they have left. Most people that are good at the game will know that 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 battleships are are not the best destroyer hunters, and they will not be the best destroyer hunters, and that's just how battleships are. They cannot hunt destroyers on their own unless they're spotted all the time. Okay, but notice that the Benson and the Lightning that are over there and some other ones, um, they just, you know, they are... They're going to stay alive almost the majority of the match. I do manage to kill one of them, and I believe our team kills one of them as well, but um, unfortunately these, these destroyers are the main problem that we had, and we could not deal with it because we didn't have any cruiser support or any destroyer support to help us with it. We were we were forced to take all the torpedoes and, and just really, there's nothing we could have done here. Um, as you guys notice, our, our 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 battleship, one of our battleships did just die, and it's only three of us now. The match is coming to an end. It's been fun up to this point. And like I've said, I got to show you some of my defeats. I was hoping to win this game, but like I said, I'm not going to win all of them. That's just how I am as a player. Okay, I, I'm not going to win every game, but that's just how it is. It's a video game at the end of the day. You're not going to win every every single match you play. That's just how it is, unfortunately. And and there goes one of the destroyers. Now, we're switching our fire over to the HMS Duke of York. If you guys don't know, I have a really old video that I had about a couple months ago. And you guys can go check that out if you want. It just shows how much I've grown in the past month and a half or two months um, from those videos that are really early on. But, um, yeah, um... Really, just this match is just unfortunate. Really, it, it's just I wish I was in a cruiser or a, you know, or something like that. But like I said, there's not much we could have done even if. So, um, we're we are trying our best to take down this Duke of York, and we eventually do. But we still have to worry about the destroyers, even if we do take down all of the battleships. And um, unfortunately, we we will lose this match. But it's just it's just teaching moments. I'm just showing you guys that even the best of players, or even some really good players. I don't proclaim myself the god or the best, but, you know, I am a decent player, and I know what I'm doing, but, like I said, we're not going to win them all. It's unfortunate. Even if you have a division, you're not going to win them all. That's just how it is. Um, and we're going to we're gonna keep firing at this, at this Duke of York, and we're going to try to get him off the board. And, um, yeah, that's just, you know... Keep in mind that this whole time, um, nobody's really been shooting at me, except the far very start of the game. And, um, yeah, it's just, you know, there's not much you can do when there's... You know, three destroyers in one cap, and battleships are forced to contest it and get into it. And it's just it's just really a feasting ground for these destroyers to take advantage of us. And, um, and uh, yeah, not really much you can do here. Um, we're setting fire after fire after fire, by the way. Um, we, we are burning these guys down, and, yeah, it's just it's kind of insane how much fire damage we are doing. Now, maybe if I would have took some shots at these guys earlier, maybe we would have won... But really, still, it, it's it's really close to call because one of the battleships that are left alive still, other than, other than the Duke of York, is actually, if you look where he's last spot, I think he's AFK. He is just sitting there doing nothing, and he, uh, which is good for us, but at the same time, it's kind of bad for us. But, um, yeah, there goes uh, our Massachusetts is turning to avoid all these. He does take down the Duke of York. Good for him. And uh, the torpedoes run out of steam, and ultimately, they all miss him. Thank God. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I was hoping to win this match and, you know, you know, get the best kind of gameplay. But like I said, we're not going to win everything. So, um, the store is still in the cap and I am like debating, should I push up or should I wait? Should I be patient? I don't know what I'm doing here. 
you know, I make the decision that I do believe I'm going to push these guys and force them out of the cap and hopefully get some of them spotted and maybe even get some kills. But I, I'm pretty sure, certain in my head that we will lose this match, and we ultimately do. So there's a bunch of our torpedoes going for the Massachusetts. Now the Massachusetts is going to dodge almost all of them except maybe one or two, which is pretty impressive. Um, good for him, but at least he didn't take them all. Um, but yeah. There's not much to really talk about now. Um, really, it's just all comes down to what are we going to do now and how are we going to die, really. That's that's how it's going to go. But um, we're trying our best just to, you know, sit around and uh, we move up and then the Benson gets spotted. So we take a shot at him and watch the damage we're about to do to him. That dispersion. And boom, we blow him up. <clears throat> we get a Confederate medal. And maybe if this Massachusetts would have killed him quicker, he might have stayed alive. But I don't know. It's all right. It's all good. But um, if we would have had our back turret as well, we probably would have took him out. Keep that in mind as well. If we would have had our back turret throughout this whole entire game, we also maybe could have turned the course of battle. Sometimes it's just a couple guns or shells you need to kill somebody. Um, and there's all those torpedoes, and he is going to take almost... You know, he's going to take a lot of them. And he's just doing a great job dodging all those torpedoes. And he's doing, he's just really, he's doing really good. He's trying his best. But there's just not much he can do. Uh, in this kind of situation to where we have so many guys that we need to counter so many guys we need to fight really and if you guys look at the time at the top of the leaderboard the only way we're going to win now is if we kill everybody and that's just not going to happen if the destroyer players are smart they know to stay back and that's what they do and that, there we go um we, we lose but we we do very good and we we make our worth and i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to punch a like subscribe to the channel Comment down below um, if you have any questions or anything. I try to get back to everybody I can. It's not that I try. I will get back to everybody I can as long as it's appropriate and, the, and all the chats are clean and all that. But, uh, but yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoy the video. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, it just, it's just some teaching moments. We do a whole bunch of damage in the Nelson, and this is why the Nelson is my favorite ship in the game. Um, it's, it's, it's an excellent ship, and we make a lot of credits as well, even, if we, even though we lost. But, yeah, um, it, it was a great match, and it was a lot of fun. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.